Hi guys, Twitch here from Creep Designs. Um, working on something kind of small, but really fun. Um, it's an idea I got from Sharon Hankins at I Restore Stuff. You can find her on Instagram and Facebook, and she's got a YouTube channel as well, I believe. So I'll put the link to her channel in the description. Um, let's get on with it. Alright, so today I'm working on something a little different. Um, I've got these stretched canvases from Kmart. I can't remember the price, sorry, but they were really cheap. Uh, these ones come in a two pack, these are the larger ones. And then you got these smaller ones in a four pack. So first thing I'm going to do is unwrap all of these and take all the canvas off the frames. That's the kind of frame that you're left with. Pretty cool, isn't it? coat. Um, one of them I buggered up royally. Um, I tried to repair it by going over it with a couple of different stains and seeing if I could fix it and make it look a bit more rusty. But I'm not overly happy with it. Maybe someone will like it. Sorry, I, you know, either someone will buy it or it'll go on the burn pile. Um, so 
So I'm going to leave that one for last so I can use the good, use the frames I really like on the good ones. Um, we'll start off with this one. I'm not even waiting for the cleave coat to dry to be honest. Um, so what do we reckon? That one, that one. So I'm actually going to put a little bit of glue around the edge of this. One done. All right, so I've got these all framed up and ready to hang, uh, but I've run out of the staples that fit my staple gun. Um, need to make a note to get a better staple gun. Um, so I was going to just get some twine and staple it across the back to hang it, uh, but what I'm going to do instead. Get some of the twine. This is just twine from Kmart. And I'm going to drill two small holes, not too much bigger than the twine itself. You want to make sure that it's big enough to be able to fit it through there, but don't make it too big. Feed one side through. Oh no. Don't do this on camera. Right, let's try this again. So you tie it off and then pull it through like that. Like that. Then you just got two little knots up in the corner, I don't think they're too obtrusive and you can hang it or you can just lean it up against something like lean it up against the wall on the top of a bench or whatever and that'll just hang back behind it 